Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Formulas and Functions in LibreOffice Calc. In this tutorial, we will learn about conditional operator, if or statement, basic statistic function, rounding off numbers. Here we are using Ubuntu Linux version 10.04 as our operating system and LibreOffice Suite version 3.3.4. We have already learned to apply the basic arithmetic operators like addition, subtraction, and average on data. Now let's learn about a few other useful operators. One of the most commonly used operators is the conditional operator. Conditional operators check for the condition applied on the data by the user and then show results in Boolean true or false. Let's open personalfinancetracker.ods. Here, under the heading Cost, we have listed the prices of several items. Let's apply conditional operators on them and analyze the results. Let's click on the cell referenced as B10 and type Condition Results inside it. Now, click on the cell referenced as C10. The conditions result will be applied and displayed in this cell. Note that the cost of the house rent is rupees 6000. The cost for the electricity bill is rupees 800. The cost of house rent is more than that of electricity bill. We can apply different conditions on them and check the results. Click on the cell referenced as C10. In this cell, type the first condition as is equal to C3 greater than C4 and press the enter key. Since the value in cell C3 is greater than the value in cell C4, the result we get is true. Now, let us change this conditional statement to is equal to C3 less than C4, press enter. The result we get is false. In the same manner, you can apply other conditional statements and study the results. These statements are very useful when dealing with large amounts of data. You can also use the IF and OR condition on data to print the results according to the conditions that holds true. Let's click on the cell referenced as C10 and type is equal to if and within braces c3 greater than c4 comma within double quotes positive comma and again within double quotes negative this means if the value in cell c3 is greater than the value in cell c4 positive will be displayed or else negative will be displayed now Press Enter. Notice that the result is positive since rupees 6000 is greater than rupees 800. Now, in the condition statement, let's change greater than to less than and press the Enter key. Note that the result is now negative as the value in cell C3 is greater than the value in cell C4. You can also see the change in result if we change the data in the cells C3 and C4. The result which is displayed now is negative. Now let us increase the value in cell C4 to 7000 and press the Enter key. The result automatically changes to positive. Again, let's decrease the value in cell C4 to 800 and press the Enter key. The result again automatically changes to negative. Now, let us delete the changes made. Next, let's learn a few arithmetic and statistic functions. Basic arithmetic functions include sum for addition, product for multiplication, quotient for division, and many more which we have already learned in the earlier tutorials. Now let's perform some operations 
to check how the sum, product and the quotient functions work. First, let's select sheet 3. Enter the numbers 50, 100 and 150 within the cells referenced B1, B2 and B3 respectively. Click on the cell A4 and type sum. Click on the cell B4. We shall compute the result in this cell. Type is equal to sum and within the braces B1, B2, B3. Press Enter. Notice the result shows 300. You can also enter a range of cells like this. Click on B4 again. Now, within the braces, instead of B1, B2, B3, type B1, B3, press Enter. Once again, the result shows 300. Now, let's click on the cell A5 and type product. Click on the cell B5. Here, type is equal to product and within the braces B1, B3. Press Enter. Notice the result shows 7,50,000. Now let's see how quotient works. Click on the cell referenced A6 and type quotient. Now click on the cell B6. We shall use this cell to compute the result. And type is equal to quotient and within the braces B2, B1. Press Enter. You will get the result as 2. That is because 100 divided by 50 gives 2. Similarly, we can perform various arithmetic operations in CAP. Now let's learn how to implement statistic functions. Statistical functions are useful for analysis of data in spreadsheets. For example, functions like count, min, max, median, mode, and many more are statistical in nature. First, let us click on sheet 1. Let's see how to find the minimum, the maximum, and the median costs using statistical functions. Let's click on the cell referenced as C10, where we will be displaying the results. Under the heading cost, we have very few entries. The minimum cost is rupees 300. The maximum cost is rupees 6000. These are the results which should be displayed when we use their functions. In the cell C10, let's type is equal to max and within braces C3 colon C7. Now press the enter key. Notice that the result is 6000 which is the maximum value in the column. Now let's replace the term max in the statement with min and press the enter key. Note that the result is 300 which is the minimum amount in the cost column. To find the median value, replace the term min with median and press the enter key. The result shows 800 which is the median cost in the column. Similarly, you can use other statistical functions on data and analyze them accordingly. Let us delete the changes in this cell. Now let's learn how to round off numbers. Let us make few changes under the heading cost. We shall change 6000 to 6000.34. 600 to 600.4, 300 to 300.3. Now click on the cell referenced as B11 and type the heading rounding off. Click on the cell referenced as C11 where we will find the total of the items under the heading cost. In the cell C11, let's type is equal to sum and within braces C3 colon C7. Now press the enter key. Notice that the total is 9701.04 
Now suppose we don't want any decimal places in our results. The best solution is to round off the result to the nearest whole number. Let us click on the cell with the total 9701.04. Type is equal to round. Open brace, sum, and again within braces, C3 colon C7. Close the brace. Press the Enter key. You see that the result is now 9701, which is 9701.04 rounded off to the nearest whole number. Rounding off can also be done to either the lower whole number or the higher number. Let's click on the cell with the result and edit the term round to round up. Now press the Enter key. You see that the result is now 9702, which is the higher whole number. In order to round off to the lower whole number, change the term round up to round down and press the Enter key. The result is now 9701, which is the lower whole number. Let us undo these changes in order to get our personal finance tracker.ods to its original form. This brings us to the end of this spoken tutorial on LibreOffice Calc. To summarize, we learned about conditional operator, if or statement, basic statistic functions, rounding off numbers. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Daisy Cruise Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.